shipping is out the door and before I sit at my desk here um, I got a package so we got what do we get we got four of the boarding tan to five we hit that uh, exclusive minifigure has the Darth Vader that's a cool head it's not just a standard clone head so got that got 50 poly bags I think there's maybe just one new one, this this Harry Potter. I'm gonna throw some of those on my story. The way this is like I said, this is for Brick Club Milwaukee. Uh, I got 25 magazines. I don't know if I'll actually take those there. I don't have room. It's stated before the cost of uh the one has a card on it. The cost of uh Lego booth is it's gone up so I couldn't get as big as get as big of a space as I did last time at Milwaukee. I could have, but I didn't want to, uh, you know, spend that much on a booth space just to bring some magazines and bulk pieces. That's literally why I do it, to get a double booth so I, I can have, like, four bins of bulk pieces people can buy bags at. And I, I just, I hate that I can't bring that, because I have so much stuff that's unsorted that's really good, people are excited about, but the cost... For the real estate of a table, it just doesn't make sense to just to really bring that to make people happy. I have to, I have to think about my costs. Um, so, so there's that. Okay. Monkey kid. Yeah, I have had a, you know, I don't know if I've explained it on the video. Brookwood, Indianapolis was not a very, wasn't what you'd expect as far as sales go. For, you know, I definitely fell short. Stickers, four sticker sheets, and um, so I had a lot of stuff left over. <laughs> so I didn't, I didn't buy. I basically bought half of, half as much as I did for Milwaukee that I did for Indianapolis here. So there's not much here. There's a hundred of these. Um, I did not sell very many at Indianapolis. I mean, I did sell some. I sold all the Fright Nights, Vampire Nights, but. Um, that was it. We sold some other random ones here and there, but not much. So, there's that. Clean up all this stuff that I've been throwing in here for like two weeks. And then I did have, um, these all opened, all hundred of these were opened up for me, so we ended up getting one, two, just four. Four of the Fright Knights, Vampire Knights, five goats, five barbarians, one, two, three, four, six, the Triceratops. I'm happy that we didn't get a ton of the workout moms. We got a lot, but not a ton. The most we got is the Toad Girl, I think. This looks like the most, the train guy, but it's just because they're getting pushed up higher. They don't always fit nice in the those, but so that's, that's, that's a good zone right there, so. Yeah, so I'll try to clean up this. And uh, go from there. Then we open up the last few bags of stuff I had over there. This is the last of it I gotta sort. Right there, and we're, this is the pile of it. We're taking these over. And we are prepping for our uploading. So we got all this ready. We got this bin ready. Just there's like ones and twos in there of stuff. stuff so. Like this stuff, actually, what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna bring it over. I'm like, yeah, I probably could list some stuff, so I'll go into this drawer that has more of them and just take out all, all of these. So it just, I love getting little collections like this, so that it prompts me to just, oh, sure, there's there's enough to do a bulk upload, so I'll just keep on doing that, getting them ready until all those are done. Then I'll see if there's time to work on the series 25 stuff. Parts uh, did get thrown into the wall. Um, I don't know, probably like 30% of what is in those bags potentially. Um, but the rest we are just gonna upload. 
So the drawers got full as I tried to fill them up. And uh, there's that, and then all this be uploaded by tomorrow afternoon. All of here, there's 15, 20 total I did not put for sale out of the 100. I actually gotta count these still. But we ended up with $538. Uh, for those 80. So let's see. So 280, 280 was my cost. So that was a pretty good mix, I guess. Um, for those 80 at least. And get this uh, put away. It's, I'm working a little overtime. I gotta get to head to the post office. It's 4 17 p.m. So I gotta count these, upload, sync the store, take the mail. See you tomorrow. Uh, eBay orders. I don't know how many there were. Uh, nine. Just nine eBay orders. And one of them had two minifigure heads, so nothing crazy there. Uh, but Brick Lincoln Brick on April 2nd is continuing to produce great numbers. 11 on Brick Link, 9 on Brick Owl. 20 total orders in the last 24 hours. 3,000 parts, 377 lots. $542, so it's extremely good. There is one order that's 52 lots and 1,200 items for $44, and it weighs like three pounds, so that's uh, one of those orders that they uh, got bigger items and got the free shipping. Um, this is a 400 part order. 200 and then there's one other big one I thought yeah 579 right there so got some work to do yeah it's gonna snow today later today actually after like after like one o'clock so let's so get like seven or eight inches this is inches of snow for between that time and tomorrow early tomorrow so let's see what happens there but anyway Time is at 5.29 a.m. It's pretty early. eBay did not take me long, so let's go. 80 some lot order took me 26 minutes. So that one's good. Very good. Get it out of the way. As a, the message, I love the videos. Keep it up. This is the, the big one. 52 lots, 1,200 items. So we will uh, see how long this takes us. 46. Fill up the drawers, empty them. That's the goal. Makes this order all worth it. I know a drawer this is. And it's, I just recently moved parts out of this drawer, I think it was, because they were just a bunch of big piece, one piece that just taken up a nice drawer that can house four pieces like that and I just noticed this one I'm like oh, I'll do it later never did it and I didn't have to save me some time and uh, we can divide this drawer up into four four uh, different uh, parts which I'm gonna really need for this uh, dreams treehouse set I'm about to part out here to TD Bricks he's in Texas his name is Tyler just like his channel? I know my kids have been watching him. Um, he got 11 of these flexible things and then a boat captain. So, awesome. He asked for priority shipping. I didn't see the message till later, but also I'll send a priority for him. Um, they just charge him the regular $5, but priority is like seven. So no big deal. We'll get it out there and maybe we'll see it in a video soon. Done. I'll have to go to the post office later. Uh, we have this file of stuff that ended up being 171 lots, 859 items. And we're going to price it out here. 166. Two have been skipped. We are also waiting on oh, tickets for 21 pilots here. Five minutes left. Let's see if we get any. Um, anyway, so should be backward. I gotta bring in the remark codes and get these uh, put away. Work and then I'll work on eBay there and these Bricklink orders. And after that, start prepping for that big dream set.
What type of Ticketmaster queue? I don't really buy concert tickets the last few were, oh, we started at 1,851 in queue, and that was three minutes ago, so it's gone pretty quick, down to 1,047. <laughs> How many lots I actually have that, so it says I have 22,819 lots in my store, and I would uh, consolidate them, 1,631. So I really have 21,188 different parts. Um, 21,188. Take 994,230 divided by 21. So 21,188. I have an average of 46 items in each lot. Those there. One eBay order in the mail. What is this? Oh, there was a. Uh, they have been wrapped in fine cloth. They did not survive. This is a symbol of death. Don't remember what I paid for this, to be honest. There's nothing to really get in here. I don't believe. I mean, this is actually pretty terrible. There's nothing good in. Oh, this is a really good helmet. It's hard to get, hard to find that black helmet. Um, yeah. I must not have paid a lot for that. I don't know. Let's see. Where am I at? Home. Purchase history. And we don't know. Okay. Fifteen dollars. So, just was something that showed up, and I ended up winning. Don't know why I bid on it. There's nothing really here. So basically, this guy will go right to my convention. I will use this helmet. I think I actually need it for Series Three space villain. Uh, this guy looks good for convention. The Steve. Take that to convention. There's a part of a llama, which I can probably complete. Ooh, this is actually really good. It's a plain tan torso. Those are like three bucks. Go to an Ewok I used to use it before. So, and yeah, nothing, nothing to write home about. Why am I, why am I still recording? I guess there's one. That's pretty nice. One clone helmet. That's. I mean, the more you look at some of these orders, it's like, oh yeah, there's that. Oh, there's that. Oh yeah, there's that. Series 13 or 12 Sheriff. I can't remember exactly what series it is, but there's a torso. And stop filming. Another order. Total shipped. That I opened yesterday, and I was just kind of I was watching with the college basketball last night, and I opened. I went through it here. Actually, it's a lot of it. I guess it's just, it's all this to here. What I found to upload. That won't make it to the upload. It's pretty bad. And a red coffin. That. A couple more of these headlight thingies, which are really good. I found this, I haven't seen this in years, this gun. It's pretty sweet. It's like a suction gun. I've only, I actually had quite a few of them way back when a lot had a bunch of them and, uh, i think those are at least three three bucks back then i don't know now well there's a lot of junk in that i knew there was a lot of junk that's why i got it for cheap and these are just kind of the leftover things lots of accessories i mean you know it all adds up what is this this is from it too but this is these are parts that go over here to get put away these are more accessories mostly that it, what i got through so far so yeah, yeah, another piece of mail. How many figures or items we can get complete for uh, perfect? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven orders in here. This one, this, this store has 60 negative feedback, 75 neutral.
I risked, I risked, because they had, they had some good stuff that I needed, and I specifically put a message, please, do not send damaged items, refund for them, and do not send, so they did refund for a general Gree torso, one of these torsos they found was bad, and four um, heads, they were like um, at AT driver or something, heads or something that I needed, so anyway, we'll see how we do. So the quality of this <laughs> this store must just only sell Star Wars too is because I mean I have 400 plus items on my wanted list and the only thing I got from the store was Star Wars stuff so yeah you know I found one bad item it uh some pretty good scratches on the back and some on the front so I don't think it costs that much oops they've already refunded me what I, the other stuff I think a little bit extra so it's a wash. Oh, I got these two too. I didn't look at those yet. Those look good. So yeah, I don't know how much of this I actually need, but I should need it all. Just I don't. I think I needed a torso for the torso that they didn't send. Yeah, I needed a helmet and a torso. So that one step closer. Good order. I have all these parts left over. Just the one damaged one. Don't exactly. So I paid $119 plus I got a $14 refund, so it's 105 bucks to complete these seven figures and then have all this left over. I can tell you right now that these two will get me back about $70 when I sell them. 85 total, 95 So yeah, these just these figures alone will pay for what it pay for the order and then I'll have all these to try to complete more later. When I need them. Star it's bricks by orange. You know you're getting it. They use orange tape, and they put the put a sticker on there sometimes. So I got what we get from there. Some good, a couple mini figures. Uh, why did it even come here? I don't even know. Oh, they had two of the gorilla guy heads I needed to complete two, so they were the best price for two. So and I picked up the rest is just. This is the only other thing that was on my, well I guess this, the wings, this sword, and uh, this head was on my list, but nothing else. Stack, I don't, I would, I don't really stack heads, um, use heads at least, and you don't do new either, but if they're the same one I usually sometimes do, but this one, it's a nice Lando head, he has a huge piece missing out of it. <laughs> I don't know how you miss that, but yeah. Asked for a refund, but that's almost a three dollar head and it's broken. Quarters have been gone through, and we have a lot to relist here. I'm gonna get this done and then I'm gonna head out to the post office 241. When I get back, I'm gonna hopefully crack open some of those or all those sets, the uh, dream sets, and get them the bag started and I prep for tomorrow. Three more orders. I was out of medium blaster. They're really close to getting out, so, so I went to this store. I got them. Um, this store <laughs> got some keychains because they were like less than two bucks, or about two bucks. And I came to the store for this instruction book, so that set will uh, be complete except the Darth Vader, obviously. So what I was going to do when I print out the picture, I'm just going to X out the Darth Vader that's on the box of the picture. So. I know, and, and put a note on it as well. He's not with it, but the TIE Fighter's there. And the, the pilot's there and the TIE Fighter. Get some more stuff for that. And then we got another one from Appreciate the Business. Enjoy. Yes, yeah, always Barn Bricks has got some pretty good stuff. I mean, they got a good selection. I mean, every time I hit my wanted list, they're in the top like five of stores that have the most. So they are pumping parts up there. So stuff. I'll have to go through that tomorrow. But right now we're opening all the butt bags to... Did I even get a clip of... We opened up all the set... Uh, we opened up all the uh, boxes to the uh, Dreams Treehouse. We are opening the bags. Spring winter storm here on April 2nd. Our internet is currently down. It's been blinking for a while. Taking our scanner upstairs. Listen to him talk about it. Connect to our phone as our internet's still down but I was able to grab all the eBay stuff off my phone and I think we're connected now I gotta check 
I don't know. So here's the eBay sales. Not too many. And yes, our our internet is now working through the hotspot, so we're going to get these shipped out. Alright, so here we are April 3rd. Got the eBay shipping done. Now I had to close Brick Owl like at I think seven o'clock last night. Once our once our internet went down. I have it open right now because I just uh, I connected it to my hotspot on my phone and it's working just fine so I'll keep an eye on it if I have to close it later I will um, I would I would assume our internet should be back on not too long I mean it go, it's been out before in a storm but it usually comes on pretty quick it's just uh, it says when I log in that there is a service outage so they know certainly so um, so we have uh, 16 BrickLink orders, two Brick also still got 18 orders total, which is very good. 1,400 items, 291 lots, $471. So we kept our streak of $500. I don't know if there's a streak right now, but a day if Brick was open probably, but that's all right. This is a very good day. And uh, 18 orders, cannot complain. So we have all this stuff ready so as soon as I'm done with this I had there's a file I gotta upload all these parts which is I think it's like 130 lots something like that so we'll get that done there's some mini figures there and that and that's those two stacks so I get this done 5:52 a.m. I gotta get my uh, decaf coffee going here and hopefully I don't have any uh, other bumps in the road today I recognize the name, and I'm guessing there might be a message about Brick World Milwaukee, because they should be there. So let's see if there's anything I added to the message. If not, it'll be just like a. Oh, there we go. You can put everything in one bag. Thanks. Awesome. And this is somebody that does mosaics. So there we go. That's easy. I'll put it all in one bag. So awesome. I was. I was. Maybe expecting a say bring it to Brook Road, Milwaukee next week, but they're probably getting stuff ready for to finish off something there for for it. So they would need it before Brook Road, Milwaukee. So here we go. All right, there's the uh, the order, all in one bag will go. It's, uh, 967 items in nine lots. So I think that's my largest. Yeah, nothing else I have is over 100 items in the next few orders. The next. 10 orders so I'm guessing they're just gonna dump it out and just start building their project just like that so it's always fun it's like it's all going to one project or whatever the case is that's I love it when people say put it in one bag sure <laughs> that's easy so I'll see you in Milwaukee if you're watching 18 was 45 lots and 78 items so it's pretty pretty quick it all took me 10 minutes. I had, um, was watching the little girl for a minute of this. She's up now because I just got back from breakfast break. So, $16, $16 order. That includes the shipping cost. So it's $8.37. So, we're going to get this packed up. All these orders here out the door. Um, what do I have to do? Uh, oh, we got a relaunch video. So, Today we're partying out that Dreams Treehouse I've been talking about. And last night I printed out some numbers here, which would, they got it numbered to there. So the Bricklink store is these three rows here. And then it goes down to this. And then it goes over to here, but these numbers don't match up with my store. So today is the day I'm gonna audit this first. So many drawers, maybe a few into here. I think there's a couple extra numbers that goes down there to here. Get all these parts moved out of this, or at least not really out of it, but renumbered at least. I don't really need to move them out. Um, but I'll look in my store if any of these lots I have already in another another lot that's the same part. I'm going to move them in together as I do that as well, so that I consolidate those lots. We'll have fun. I'm excited to do an audit, see what's in here that shouldn't be in there or it's stuff that's missing potentially that I could save an air from happening so we've already cleared out this big drawer all these drawers um, I have no label I take them off as they sell out so it's like this one actually doesn't 
have anything uh, that might have been empty when I got it. This one doesn't. So it shouldn't take too long to audit that and get, get those numbers on there. The file here, I don't know where it starts. Oh wait. Gotta go to the top. I think it's a minifigure. It starts with the minifigure, so. So this is only 120 lots, 588 items. Um, so I'm gonna say it's a, I don't know, um, 162.45 is my guess for the dollar amount. 162.45. I don't know what's gonna be. What's it? Oh, it's downloading. It's I'm on my Wi-Fi cell phone coverage, so. So anyway, we'll wait for that. I'll get these in line for me to upload quickly. Some of them have, you know, two different ones. Okay, I brought it in. Ooh, 213. 213.89. I like that. So we're gonna get this taken care of and then do that audit over there. Get those numbers, those drawers renumbered, and then start sorting. Start sorting. Lots to sort. I think it's like 14, almost 15,000 pieces or somewhere around there. Got all the parts put away. It's just 9.34 now, so I was going to do the price. I saw one piece, this one right here, it's quite a bit. So we're sorting it by price, see if there's anything else I missed. No, it was the most expensive. Um, on average, people are asking right now $8.48. It came on. Um, that, that, and that old set. So it only came in three old sets, and I had two of them. So seven fifty each. I put them at because it's a Star Wars exclusive piece. So those usually go for more than the their averages. So yeah, this guy. I don't know why. This is probably not very like, accurate. He's just sold nine times, but he shouldn't be that high. Be two dollars. So yeah this put away and then on to the audit. This is the value of using like the double letter how this this store did it. <laughs> There's real value in it if you don't have uh, inventory software because I just searched the um, my store inventory for anything that has AA in it and just any part of field and it basically brings up all of them and I put it in the remark code order all of them that it should be here so I can instantly change it here instead of going back and forth. So I have it in brick store as well. All pulled up, you see how there's those, those and then the, those are over there. So, yeah, this is, has great value. I can just double check with brick store because maybe the number could be messed up or something. It doesn't, it wasn't put in, I don't know, probably not, but. So we're just gonna go through it. Um, so as you can see, there's no number two. It should be empty and there is no number two there. So this says, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm not going to necessarily count everything, um, but I have some drawers set up, so I don't think a dump is going to work. Let's try it. Oh, we made it. So we're putting it in 670. And we will just uh, just just do it here. So 0670. And then that one is done. I got I need more hands to do to work this, but um, C2 is empty. Three just has this. We we'll move them. Try to move them. We can all. We can just. Re, we can, I can just renumber them at the end because um, it doesn't matter what order they're in. They'll be renumbered to the specific order. So yeah, I don't really have to necessarily do that. I can just go through the parts first and get them all cleared, and then uh, go from there. So four and five have stuff. Showing two of those, and both of those are in there. So I'll, I'll check back in when I find some discrepancies if I do. Because I was, wanted to do it, because um, I didn't consolidate lots, because that's I need a mouse to do that. I just can't do it fast. But everything that was supposed to be in there was there, and these are the parts that were not shown. The drawers were empty, and but they had parts in them. So a little bit of a gain. I have. This is stuff that I've audited before, just new parts just sitting here waiting for me to get a big amount to put it, because it'll be all new parts, so 
Um, I'm just going to add those to that, but I'm going to rip all these labels off and get this renumbered. I'm going to do this last. I'm just going to, once I get to these drawers to label them, I'm just going to change them. I have it set up. They're just waiting right here so that uh, I don't have to move them. I just change the drawer number, whatever it's going to be. I don't exactly know what number it's going to be yet, but it's working on this now to get them, get them numbered. I found uh, these were not in one of the bigger drawers that I, when I moved them, so more parts. And now it looks it looks uh, more familiar to me. We got down to the first row in the second cabinet. So, yeah, both actually both of these have room. This is completely empty, so this one has 30% open. So, got my table, got that table set up. Now I'm gonna go through and look at these real quick and see which, which ones have common parts so that we can sort them by each other. Um, so let's see like this this one right here has a lot of common parts at least the big the big bags that were open there this one looks like something kind of like those ones so you want to keep those together I don't know about anything else is there a green one over here this one I know is not going to be any this, this is just that the figure that's built the bad guys. And the, the hunter guy looks awesome figure, so I'll probably start with that. This has some common and that one there too. So what I will do, I will I'm gonna just do those ones, probably actually. I'll bring all these that are kind of like these medium nougat colors. I'll do those. These two have to stay together. You can tell. So that we don't have too many, uh, you know, the same lots in a couple different drawers that we're sorting it into. We'll run out with 400 some lots of the set. But, uh, second one, I did not do the small bag for that one because if they don't have many big parts, I'm gonna just kind of do those together at some point because some of those are similar parts there. Where's Lloyd? It's 1041. I I don't know if I can do this by four o'clock today. Because I had a storm, so my son's friend is not coming to help today, but my younger son said he'll help do some stuff, so got lots of sorting to do. Oh, well, I didn't check to see if those were the same. I think they are the same size. Yeah, yeah, the same size. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start, I, mean, I just like to get this table, I'm going to start taking stuff over there and color code it as it... Uh, but this is the second, this is a lot of the same pieces to the one I just did, or some of them at least. So I'm gonna identify those real quick and then take the rest out of here. So I identified three so far, actually four. Keep those. I don't know about anything else. Oh yeah, these tiles. So definitely not this. I'm gonna start taking them out of here and then get sorted. Power at about 11.30 this morning here. <laughs> So we got a flashlight here. Um, I'm working over here. I have a headlamp. I guess I can probably, I can probably see okay. But we're in a basement, so it doesn't help. Music still works through the phone. We have two, one there. It's 12:44, and uh, lots of stuff on the table. We got two helpers here. And I got a third table set up. I have one, two, three tables. And I actually have one more if I need it, which it's another four foot table, which I don't. We do have this one here too. So I don't know how I'm going to upload this today without power, but I will do my best to attempt it. I usually I print out the sheets to get help putting the ones away that I already have lots, but can't do that. If only I had like uh, one of those little power things you can plug in like one or two small appliances into. I could plug my printer into it and I could have done it. Oh, I wasn't prepared for this. Anyway, back to sorting. Got some light <laughs> with headlamps as well. It's all sorted. At two o'clock, <laughs> I'm starting to put it away. 
So I need to find that one. I know where that is, I think. I think I left it over here. Nope, I brought it over. Ooh. And there. It's working hard to get this done. Looks like my card is almost full of film and I don't know if I want to upload it. Oh, someone's trying to grab my camera. Anyway, we're going to upload 9,276 parts worth $1,370. That's the total of $1,700 that is on the screen. And I did not do the minifigures either. So we have basically um, red. I ended at the pearl gold, so red is the next color up. Reddish brown, there's some white here. There's some over here too. Some more tan and red brown and sand green. So, do that tomorrow. Um, but we're gonna hit a million parts right now. Even though my store is closed, I closed it. At, power went out at like 11.20 a.m. was the actual time. I closed it within like 15, 20 minutes of that. So, I, just, I put a note, you can place an order, but it, shipping might be delayed, so we'll get this. Upload it and call it a day. It was like he says it's four four sixteen. He gets a little light. Alright, we're back in the basement on Thursday. It is going to fall. Five ten AM. It's time to pull my eBay sales. There we go. Rock miners. That one. Sa Sa Savage Opress. This is the next one. This won't be easy with one hand. Done thing, and then I'm not gonna print these out on my printer, but I'm gonna just get them ready, and then I'm gonna work on getting all the rest of these parts put away. eBay's waiting. Oh, I gotta take the garbage out. Don't remember that. It's kind of early yet, half an hour. Um, I should do it though. I don't want to turn on my computer until. <laughs> Until I'm in a go situation, so what I'll do is I'll grab all the parts that are around these other tables and get them all lined up by color over here. There's a few over here. I'm gonna start grabbing. Got them off all the other off the other tables. I had three tables set up for this one. Four, it's 420 some lots. I don't get the, um, it's so dark over here, I can't even see that table. I don't even get the effect of the massive upload because I had to upload half of it yesterday. So now I'm gonna fill up my uh, cart with empty drawers. There's a few on there left. This one's not. And then I will turn on my computer. I do, we are, um, grandparents, they live just less than a mile from us, they do have power, so if I, I said if power's not back on by Friday morning, I'm going over there with my printer, because <laughs> I will let eBay lapse today probably, unless I feel like there's nothing else I can do, I might go over there today, and they have a, they have a sunroom, 
that I can hang out in, bring all my stuff. So we'll see if I have to do that. It's on, I loaded Rickstar right where I, uh, right where I ended on the red, so. I kind of put reddish brown here, I put red back there. I was, I don't know why, I thought reddish brown was first. I knew it was red, because I ended at red. <clears throat> so what I do is I just bring all of them right to this area and start going for it. So, start with those two balloon pieces. And, uh, so what, what I do is I have that, that fully loaded with drawers and then I have these with all empty drawers and some big ones waiting. So I don't waste time looking for stuff. Actually, this is a, it's a tiny piece. Which is these. So, I'm starting this at 5.49 a.m. Lloyd's way over there in the distance. He wants power back on, so do I. The finish line, I don't know if you guys can see it very well, but I can see it. It's just the white. White is left. A couple yellows and yellowish green. Last parts are. Uh, I gotta put all the drawers away still, or some of them. The last part was entered into a drawer number, and the number here is another 6,275 parts. And it's $821. So I don't remember the other number. I'm gonna write this down. I'm gonna upload it and then I'll add it together because I still have to do the minifigure, so I figure out what the actual uh, part out value ended up being for my cost. So but I'm glad that that is done. And we are gonna make sure it gets uploaded. Thank you. I'm just so happy for <laughs> Wi Fi on my phone. Or I wouldn't be able to work. Some space in there. Bunch of empty drawers and all the minifigures. So, um, and again, Brickstore is not pulling in pricing. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up two screens. One with the minifigure has the price, and then I'm going to do the part. Open a new screen on the part out, and it'll tell me the prices right there. So I don't got to look up each one individually. So I don't know why it's not pulling in the prices. Maybe it's something to do with my issue here. Because I'm not on Wi-Fi. I don't know. I'm on my hotspot on my phone, I have no idea, but I'm not 100% certain about adding any of these to eBay. I'm thinking I'm going to put five of this guy and five of this guy together. I'm thinking I'm going to do that, because that would be pretty cool looking. But I do have other, I do have other dreams, um, eBay lots on eBay. Lots. I just like what I, what I was usually doing. I was putting like more than one figure together, so I wasn't sure the prop popularity of it. So let's see what I have on there. So I have those guys. So I have a Mateo with that. So I have these two with the mushroom. I have her with Z Blob. Miss Costello with the mushroom. So I still have a lot of things. I don't see there's any reason to add much. I'm just going to do this guy, I think, and the Night Hunter together. Working mine, miner style down, down in the coal mines. It's not really. Found two rogue parts that need to find where they go. This actually, my son, younger son said, put it in a bag and mark it because this part did not come in the set. There's a bunch of one by one dark oranges that this was mixed in with. So the factory got it wrong. That's one piece. Six. So, George I'm like, I'm not going to put it in a bag and mark it. Anyway, we have all these for the, uh, the camera. Uh, shadow is making it hard to see that. i got to zoom in. These are all the ones I'm taking to convention. How do I determine what to take? Well, it depends on what I have in my store. Um, I always say eBay is number one priority, then Bricklink, then convention number three. Um, at certain points that kind of changes if I need certain stuff for certain things. I, I kind of need stuff for convention. I have some big stuff coming up, but um, I just have to take time during some days and 
build figures for conventions if I do need that. And it can, I can get massive piles of minifigures pretty quickly. Massive in, you know, a few hours I can have like 50 to 75 really good minifigures built. Um, I guess that's not that massive, but it's good. It's a good start when you ever need it. So I don't typically always dump a ton of one thing into the convention. Bin. I want to have a good variety of everything. I don't want to take too much of one thing. So and it depends on the pricing on BrickLink. If I can get similar pricing here than at a convention, I'll mostly put it on here and take a couple to convention. But it's all in my head. It's a mess. $336. So let me do the math thing. In the end, I got these for $72. That's completely with tax and everything. So 12 sets. So I paid $864 for these 12 sets total. And now I have to add, let me get my sheet. So 864, and this number for these is 33673. 33673. Let's add these up. So 336.73 plus 1374.84 plus 821.84. That is the value of all the parts I just uploaded. Or I didn't upload these yet, but I will. Um, does it work if I divide that by 864? So the part out ended up being 2.93 for the pieces I've uploaded. Because there was some pricing things when I did the uh, overall that were showing up in the, the estimated part out when you do the part out in Bricklink, um, the estimated. So and these and this is not including these figures. So we're definitely going to hit over three, which is awesome. And I added so much variety to the store um, because I think when I first checked it, it was like at 180 some new parts, and I checked again, it was like down to one. 70 something and I didn't check it before I actually started uploading it, but we'll find out in a minute. I haven't notified Anyone of any lots to buy but I have this message Currently we have a power outage Shipping orders may be delayed. You can open the store if you want and place an order. But anyway, we got to 1,008,861 parts 22,925 lots and um, It does not show how many okay what if I go to open the store maybe it'll show me how many to notify I think if I go to open I think I'm not even sure but um, I don't really know it's taking forever so yeah what am I gonna do the rest of the day while I wait for this well I have a couple bricklink orders I can go through I probably would do that. I'm gonna take a nice break right now. It's 9.30 in the morning. So I got up at five. I was actually up at three, so I'm gonna stoke the fire. But um, I'm glad we have a wood stove. Close, if I go to open. Okay, notify, you have 200 lots to notify. So I added 200 lots, which is really good for the set. Um, like I said, the last time I checked how many it was, it was last Wednesday after we parted out that price vote. So a week later, I ended up sold some of the lots out. And, and I don't think when I do that, it doesn't take into consideration all the minifigs that I parted out. I parted out a couple of each. So those were new lots as well. It wouldn't show in the original lookup. So looks good. Take a break. The brick recorders upstairs in the light, and I'm bringing them down to put things away um, after done pulling orders because I had to. I just turned on my computer, so I gotta use it. How much battery do we have left? We have 24%, so it's uh, 62 lots, five orders. Gotta get done stuff down to the neighbors, and we are going. My printer can't really see it's so dark um, got both printers the thermal printer and the regular printer and my laptop um, all the stuff that is purchased so we'll get it shipped out today and I'll head to the post office after that
arrived with over 500 minifigures that have it. Lots of free material. It's all bagged up like this in bubble mailers. Back in the dark. It's like 6.30 Thursday. Got a Coles order 10 of these. This is the last two they had online with this boarding the Tantu 4. I always think it was 5, but I gotta look at the numbers. Comes with one, two, seven minifigures. How do I get this in focus? The big box. Um, it was the normal price, but it was Kohl's cash, 10 bucks off every 50, so I have to spend that now with this set and the uh, dreams I just parted out. Like $400 in Kohl's cash, I gotta figure out what to buy. I was thinking of that, I think it's the Japanese picture frame set. I have to look more into that one though. It's one option. Just woke me out of bed. Power just came back on Thursday night, 10.48. PM, all my lights are on down here. <laughs> I was in the middle of working when it went out, so turn them off, back to bed. Power is back on this morning, as I showed last night. But because of that huge storm, we have water coming in the basement now. So eBay uh, sold some Ninjago cards. Nice 50 some dollar order there. This is one minifigure in six parts. Some Ultra Agents. Some more Lego heads. Some of this. So. I did open my um, brick thing store. I, I got to open brick all here. I did open it last night before bed, like 9 o'clock, because. Like going into Friday, I'm like, I figure I'll definitely have the bar back by the, sometime in the weekend. So, it, all of the worst comes to worst, I can just ship everything out on Monday. So, we got one order. I had actually had one order already. And then this top one came in yesterday. Or actually, Wednesday when I closed the store. Wait, no, I shipped everything out yesterday morning. So, it came in after I shipped everything out, or while I was shipping things out on Thursday. So, so we got 11 more lots on that one, so that's a good second order. So two orders for $84. Hopefully they're going to start coming in. I just uploaded all those parts from that uh, dream set. So, And I do have to end this video because usually I'm, I'd stop recording about 24 hours before this um, to start the new week. But So yeah, I should do that. End the video. <laughs> Uh, I gotta get my desk put back here. Why well, you give it to my son in the winter so so we can play pool and ping pong? It hasn't taken place for phew, since early January, I think. It's now April, so it's my electric desk. Uh, my it goes up and down. It's got some. It's not electric. It's standing desk. So I need to get that back over here this weekend probably because I do that when the water comes. Well, last year we didn't have much water or not for long, but. I did this for now, but I need to get the vacuum out. But it's this early, I don't like vacuuming so early and waking everyone up. Especially after this, the last 36 hours we had with no power. <laughs> but people sleep.